Trump is guilty on counts. A felon. A tiny hand waving. Boom pa lumpa looking. Touchy feely. Sleepy. Farting in court. Old mess. Tom guilty on all counts of falsifying documents to cover up a hush money payment to a porn star during the election. Becoming the first former president to be convicted of a felony. It's his grace and defeat I admire most. Those jurors just ruined their chances of being Trump's VIP. After all, it's hard when the crook you thought you knew is revealed to be a crit. Crim criminal. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. When asked, Ben Franklin said that. We had a republic. If we can keep it. Today I would settle for it not being. A dictatorship on the first day in office. Apparently collusion with Russia and his leaky-haired lawyer Rudy was not enough. He had to go for the porn star hush money, playing touchy-feely with Miss Carol. Then when he finally gets to court, he falls asleep then farts up his own stormy little Daniels. The one time he is not waving his hands around like a lunatic, go figure. There really is some irony in the fact that when we hear a politician like Trump speak, we know he is about to lie. And we don't believe a word, he says. But when we hear a comedian like George Carlin, or Bill Hicks, John Stewart, or Jimmy Kimmel speak, we tend to know we can believe them, and their words have substance and meaning. The answer is obvious. We make the jurors a convicted felon, Trump. You appoint them the new Supreme Court, then appoint the winner of last comic standing for president, and truly make America great again. Ha ha ha. This is Max Headroom, Network 23.